Good morning, Warriors. My name is Caitlin Harris. And my name is Robin Weber. And today is February 13th, 2017. And this is the Warrior News. Uh, this is Coach Vaughn, and this is our 2017 National History Day. Uh, it's a great day for us. Uh, Central has a great tradition in this state and nationally known for our History Day projects. We have five different categories, and we seem to score very well and represent the state of Arkansas each year. So Friday, we'll have this open up for uh, visitors to come through and walk through. And this is just the exhibits. This is not like the documentaries or performances or anything like that. So, hey, uh, thank you, uh, students. A lot of you students have worked really hard, and we really appreciate you. Thank you. Um, I decided to do NHC this year because of just the experiences that I learned from last year. Some of the stuff that, that I learned, um, the things that will just help me in the future, and um, just learning about different uh, historical characters and just kind of in-depth with those. So that's why. Um, I probably would do NHC again just because of how... Um, how much you learn from it, and um, just because, like, what I've done the past two years is documentary, and that's something I want to do, like, maybe as a job some days, make documentaries. So I think maybe doing it in the future would help me with making uh, documentaries. So, yeah. Um, my project was Alexander Hamilton and his stand against slavery, and the reason I kind of cho chose it was I, um, I enjoyed watching, or I'd heard about Hamilton the musical, and I listened to the soundtrack. I got to learn more about him by listening to the soundtrack. And um, I was just interested in him. And um, there's so many things he took a stand for, but um, slavery was something that I knew not, not very many people knew about. So I figured that'd be a good one to um, help other people learn about his stand against slavery. I chose to do NHD because of the historical purposes and values I can learn from it, and especially with my project that I chose. Yes, I would because of all the things I learned from and all the benefits I can get later on in life from learning about the past. Uh, my project was about the Elaine Massacre. It occurred in Elaine, Arkansas, and um, it was about how the sharecroppers there, the black sharecroppers there, weren't getting paid enough for picking cotton, and they gathered together to discuss how they would um, propose a plan to the white landowners to get paid more for their cotton but that resulted in a massacre. Up next is NJHS. I joined NJHS because it gave me great leadership opportunities in the community and in our school. I enjoy NJHS because there are a lot of community service projects to work on and it gives me experience, experience in helping and benefiting the community. Um, I think NJHS will benefit my future because I can put it on college applications and it'll also get it also gives me experience in helping the community. Wednesday, February 1st, NJH applications will be sent home to eligible students. This includes an informal letter, activity form, and recommendation forms. Friday, February 24th is the deadline to turn in the applications. On Friday, March 3rd, a list of qualifying students will be posted on all central social media web pages, and a letter will be mailed home with more information. Thursday, April 27th, will be the induction ceremony at 6 o'clock. Students should arrive at 5.30. Up next, the counselors will tell you how to sign up for classes. in early so that you can um, be sure that you get what you want so the earlier you register the more probability of you getting into classes that you want 
what happens is the registrars and counselors look at how many people want in those classes and then they base the number of teachers off of that. So the quicker you get in, the more you ensure you get what you want. So you have to take your four math uh, credits, your four English credits, um, three science and three social studies. Those are non-negotiable. You also have to have an oral comm, health, PE, and a fine arts. And then you get to choose your eight elective classes. So you need those 24 total credits um, to graduate. The houses, ACME, FEDS, MEDS, ACDC, and Habit are the five houses at Harbor. So everything that you're doing in advisory and what you did in career development as eighth graders um, is preparing you for the future. So those things are just getting you um, ready to make decisions about what your plans are after high school, whether that be the workforce or secondary education. Um, all of these activities that we're doing is just leading up to those important decisions that you're going to be making. So. To graduate with honors, you have to have those um, basic credits, those 24 credits that we talked about, and you also um, have to have a 3.5 GPA your freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior year. You have to have a foreign language, the same foreign language, for two years. And you also, if, there's three different categories. So you can have honors, where you have to have two AP classes. There's high honors, where you have four AP classes. And then there's highest honors, where you have the six AP classes. And remember, those AP classes are count as, are on the five point GPA scale. Here's information brought to you by the art students. Hi, I'm Faith. And I'm Bailey. And we're in the advanced ninth grade drawing class. So at the end of our school year, we take a field trip to Tulsa to go to the art museums there and the zoo and see maybe there to like learn about more careers that we can pursue in the arts. And in order to get there, we're fundraising by selling like handmade glass press necklaces. The, they come in three different sizes, small, medium, and large, and depending on the size, the price varies. But we're selling them in the art room from February 6th, I believe, to February 14th. So come in and buy your necklace and help support the art class, I guess. Up next is a project about what the East students are learning about. East is unlike most classes that you'll ever find. It's a class where students work on projects. Not just projects, but projects that connect to the needs within our community. So you will find students that are working on um, building relationships with the Child Safety Center, Peace at Home Family Shelter, working on hunger, working on mapping. And again, it's a, it's a neat opportunity for students to be able to not only learn a lot using technology, but connect their learning to real needs within our Springdale and Northwest Arkansas communities. As our students prepare for a national conference in Hot Springs, um, they'll be able to again prepare and you know practice their presentation because they're going to be competing against schools all over the state. So um, it's an exciting opportunity for our students and for our community. It, East is often thought as a technology class because when you look at what's in the classroom, there's nearly $300,000 worth of technology in just our East program itself. But you don't have to be you know, a technology guru to love East. It's an opportunity for everyone, but again, the big piece about East is that you're not afraid to think. East is like a nonprofit, student-led organization where us students use projects and project-based ideas to help impact the community in a better way. And everything is like on technology and computers and you're working to uh, make just the world and community and everything better. Right now we're working on uh, putting impact sensors in the football helmets to help um, pre prevent concussions and second impact syndrome. Yeah, we're using this technology. We've been working with um, a professor from the U of A and some other people to kind of work with them and build our own prototype. We actually got a grant for a total of $15,000 right now and so we have um, some Rydell helmets with some inside sensors and that's just like a five zone sensor pad that goes inside the helmet and Carson and I have been wearing those during season and then we also have a mouthpiece that has some sensors in it and we can wear that and it shows like the model of the head through the mouthpiece and that's pretty cool. And they read the impact of the hit and um, where the hit came from so you can tell um, where the concussion like the main blow was and uh, how hard it was and there was like readings on how many forces how many G's of force act upon um, the head that will cause a concussion. 
But at, at Halstern, I learned about the, the idea of looking at putting sensors and other pieces inside the helmets. And, you know, again, this is a perfect example of what EAST is all about. It's taking, taking the problem, which is of having safety in athletics, and then thinking outside the box of how can we actually fulfill and help with this problem. And, you know, it's reasonable to think, okay, I can't do this by myself, so the way that I transition is I'll start networking with the University of Arkansas, other companies, and again, begin picking their brain and connecting with them to solve this problem. And that's just, again, one example of many of how our East students are doing great things. To continue on, we have the yearbook piece. <laughs> My job in yearbook is to make collages of pictures, and we just go and take pictures of like the building or kids doing their work, and we put it in the yearbook, and we write articles and, and like explain um, how fun the school year was. Okay, in the next I enjoy yearbook and I would do it next year. Hello Warriors, this is Mrs. Munson and I'm our yearbook advisor. Uh, the current cost of the yearbook is $37 plus tax, so that makes your total $40.61. You can order online at jostensyearbooks.com or you can bring a check to me in room 303. The last day to order your yearbook is February 17th. I cannot guarantee you that there will be any extra yearbooks when they come in. We normally distribute yearbooks the day of the semi-formal, so hopefully that's the day you'll get them, but it will definitely be close to the very end of the school year. Again, I cannot guarantee that I will have any extras for sale. If I do, the cost for those will be $40. So make sure you order your yearbook now before February 17th. That's the only way I can guarantee that you will get one. Thanks. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Springdale Today, winner of six Student Pillars of Excellence from the Mid-America Chapter of the Emmys, winner of five consecutive All-Arkansas Awards, and member of the Broadcasting Hall of Fame from the Arkansas Scholastic Press Association. Springdale Today, your award-winning source for information and entertainment in the Springdale Public Schools. Find us on YouTube.